What's good? It's Ray. I'm back today. Oh, what's good? What they do? Oh, dancing the moonlight. 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 What's poppin' race squad? It's Red. I am back with another banger video. So today we're gonna do um another unpopular opinions video since y'all love my unpopular opinions video. Today we're gonna do um major red version. If y'all new to my channel, y'all don't know I do major red. Sorry if y'all like see the lightning, it's raining outside, and this lamp right here is trying to do its best. So yeah. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that thumbs up. You know, subscribe to your boy. You know what I'm saying? You know you join the race squad. Feel me? No? Yeah, no? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, let me stop. Let's just start with the video. Oh, I have my computer again, because I am not going to get these out of my head. Like, okay. Number one, walkthrough is so boring. Like, literally, it's like one of the most boring categories that we have. Who wants to walk around the gym and dance at the same time? I'm seeing, I'm seeing it like this. Just walking around the gym. Who wants to see that? Number two, every competition should have stand battle, period. Like if your competition don't have stand battle, then what are you doing? Cause stand battle is like one of the most popular categories that we have in the major community. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to see two or three teams going neck to neck at each other? Number four, I feel like judges be playing side. Like we going against this team in stand battle, right? And then the team is not doing good. And then my team, we're bucking hard, we're giving tricks, we're giving energy, we're getting cleanliness, but then the judges wanna play and go for that team. What? Sometimes I be feel like the judges be playing sides, like trying to work with the team so they can win. Number five, dancing should not be all about tricks. Now don't get me wrong. What I do is I combine tricks and dance. So like I combine both of them together. Now ain't nothing wrong with doing tricks and like a dance or whatever, you know, get the crowd, Bitch. you know, get the crowd, you know, high, bring up the spice. If you're constantly doing tricks like for a whole A count or three A count, then that's a problem. It's not gymnastics, okay? This is major ed. Number six, slow stand is a dumb. If y'all senior in major ed community, y'all probably know what I'm talking about. Like, I just don't like slow stand. Like, slow stand is not for me. Like, the way how I dance, I dance like how a boy would dance. I don't dance very feminine. I don't twerk or anything like that during medium or anything like that. I just feel like slow stand is just not for me. Like, it's too feminine for me. Number seven, fast is the best stand, hands down. I don't care what none of y'all say. I think because I got ADHD and I got like a heck of energy, I just wanna just have energy to bug, you know, give them fans, give them everything like, bruh. Number eight, there's a difference between being wild and having energy. There's a huge difference. Let me show you. So, if I'm doing this. I'm having energy. But if I'm constantly doing this. That's being wild. Like, your arms are going all over the place. And, you know, hey, like. It's not, if it's not connecting with the moves, then you're being wild. You're being too wild. Slow down a little bit. Number nine. Dance is not for everybody. I'm just gonna say this now. Dance is really not for everybody. And no, I'm not trying to bash down dancers or anything like that, because that's not what I do. But some people, they just can't dance. Like, I'm just, they don't have no rhythm or anything like that. I'm just like, you better come a long way. Number 10, number 10. Basic uniforms, basic standby uniforms, they have to go. I mean, I would understand like if y'all are low on money and stuff like that, and that's what you can afford. I mean, I understand, but you should at least spice it up a little bit. You can't just get out any type of clothing and just put a fringe on it and be like, bam, go out there. That's ugly. No. You don't put some stretch sequin in it or some ribosomes or anything on it. Israel plays a lot in our black history. If y'all don't know, HBCUs, they do major rent as well. Here's an example. <laughs> A lot of black girls, they bug in bleach and stuff like that. So I say it plays a lot in our black history. I'm probably gonna attack me on this. Most of y'all majors, y'all probably gonna attack me on this, but I do not care. 
Number 12, dancing dolls are so overrated. No, no, I'm not talking about dancing dolls of Atlanta because they the best one out there, hands down. But I'm talking about dancing dolls Jackson, Mississippi. They're literally so overrated. Like ever since like most of the girls graduated, like Deja, Makaya, Kenjane, Canary, all of them people. It's like Dancing Dolls of Jackson has been dead. Like they just been overrated. Last but not least, dance is for everybody. Period. I don't care what y'all say. I am tired of hearing people say, oh, dance is for girls. Like why is boys doing it? No. Major is for boys and girls, or any type of dance. I guess girls are mad because like, in majorette, boys get like more points in a category or anything in a competition. I mean, us boys, we like, we dance harder than girls, okay? Not trying to be sexist, but I'm just trying to speak the truth. And for the teams that discriminate boy dancers, I do not automatically like you. Cause why discriminate boy dancers? Like, boy dancers can actually help you. Cause number one, we get more points in the competition, so why not get a boy dancer? You might get points in the category that you're in in the competition. All right, you guys, so that's my popular opinions of Majorette. If you guys want me to do more unpopular opinions or if I left something about Majorette and stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Y'all go follow my Instagram, which is Ray the Major Ray. Go follow my Snapchat, Lil Ray Snow 16. Go follow my TikTok, Real underscore Beat Dancer. Everything will be in the description box, so I'm letting you know. All right, then, bye.